Uh, welcome to the very 36th hour of Adventurers Wanted Rebellion. Uh, my name is Leo, I'll be your GM this morning. Um, this is not technically a relaxed performance, but we do have a relaxed attitude to sound and movement from the audience for the benefit of people who would struggle to stay silent or uh, still for an entire hour. Um, and the lights are going to stay exactly like this, but there may be some loud noises and sound effects from Wilhelm at the back. Oh! Uh, on, <laughs> on that note, uh, we're delighted to welcome uh, Jess to the show here. Uh, Jess has Tourette syndrome, and she will be making involuntary noises and movements throughout the performance. Uh, if you do feel like you need a break at any point, please do feel free to uh, just duck out the door there and rejoin us when you feel ready. So. Uh, how does this work? Oh no, one more thing, sorry. Uh, this is Naomi on your right here, uh, who's our stage manager, and uh, she'll help you with anything that uh, she can. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so. How can they help you with your life problems or anything? Yeah. You do a great job with me, You do a great job with me, dear. Uh, for the stream, uh, I was I was I was just reprimanded for putting emotional labour on my on uh, on my partner. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, this is a tabletop role playing game. So the four people on my left and right play individual unique characters in a fantasy setting. As the game master, I play the fantasy setting. I play the uh, the weather as it becomes appropriate, the uh, allies and enemies that uh, our players will meet along the way. And to try and keep things uh, vaguely fair, we interact with each other using dice. Um, the most common one that you'll be uh, hearing about is the D20, or the 20-sided dice here. Uh, icosahedron, if you're being nerdy. Um, high numbers are better. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright, Tom? I, I was. <laughs> I got a huge. Uh, sorry. Uh, high numbers are better than low numbers, so uh, if you roll a 20 on this dice, that is a critical success. If you roll a 1, uh, it's an ultimate failure. Um, no matter what uh, you were trying to do. And thank you, Bex, for bringing along uh, a wonderful uh, display there. Uh, <laughs> display piece. Um, the story so far. The four uh, people who have been playing our characters uh, have been part of a rebellion which has thrown off uh, the imperial cult that has enslaved them for the last five years and made them mine a very mysterious ore um, out of the ground, which they are just now coming to grips with the idea of, of, what, of what dangers that ore holds. However... Um, they have managed to drive the cult out of the capital and in trying to unite uh, the region uh, they have gone to the township of Lee Glen to the south east um, and have found that this, um, this poor township has been completely destroyed and torn apart uh, in the name of getting more and more of this ore out of the ground. They've tried to rescue some of the ore to, uh, to take it back to Homewood, where they come from, in order to study it further. However, there is a complication. Um, a Daniel Beddingfield. Not quite him, but uh, a, a uh, war chief uh, and her band of orcs has appeared on the horizon, um, and they've got to get through this war chief <laughs> to get back to get back to Homewood to bring the ore uh, to their research centre. Um, uh, sorry, I, I'm quite proud of that. Uh, <laughs> I really think you should be. Okay. Uh, where we left off, the um, the characters were trying to free some of these um, very poor, uh, unfortunate souls who had been corrupted <laughs> by the ore. Where's the bar? Um, <laughs> poor unfortunate souls who've been corrupted by the orc and weaponized by the orcs they're trying to save those and in the chaos their caravan is trying to break through that orc rank um, and we left it in the middle of that combat in the middle of all that chaos and that is where we're going to pick right back up in a second uh, but first we're going to meet our players and their characters so starting on my right here tell us your name your character's name their pronouns uh, and a little bit about where their head's at at mm -hmm. the moment 
Uh, so my name is Bex. I'm playing Thatchy Moon. They are uh, they use they them pronouns. They are a ranger orc. Um, currently, the most recent thing to happen to Thatchy is that they had some really great shots and then rolled very poorly on stealth. So they think they are hiding, but they are not at all out in the open, just staring at a large group of orcs staring back at them. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, I am Tom. Um, I am playing Evan. Uh, Evan is a paladin who is an Asimar. Now, an Asimar is a sort of low level angel. Um, Evan is a, a she, her, and uh, has only recently arrived in all this. Was sort of sent, as far as she knows, uh, from, uh, from the heavens uh, by her yeah. god, uh, Corellum. Uh, uh, and uh, her god has given her the explicit instructions to save, in fact, these very same corrupted poor beings that, that are here, uh, because they are uh, sort of the opposite of what she and her god are all about, which is using magic to purify, but of course they have been corrupted. By it, so she's got a, she's got, she's an angel on a mission, and uh, she seems to like these people, and is going to work with them to carry it out. Fantastic. Uh, my name's Paul. Um, I'm playing a Fen, a Tabaxi fighter. Uh, think cat person. Um, I am uh, the uh, Fen is um, he him, and in this battle so far, uh, he has managed to uh, shoot down fifteen orcs uh, yeah. with one arrow. And uh, yeah, then it was, uh, it, was, it was really great. With the with the second <laughs> shot, uh, blow up <laughs> about six of them. Uh, however, that is the most impressive thing uh, that my character does. <laughs> uh, he's now currently being attacked by a pus-filled plague uh, orc. Thank you for reminding me. Fantastic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm Amy. I'm playing Prisbet Hain. I'm a, cl um, a cleric gnome. Um, and just recently I created a spiritual scythe and whacked it and killed an orc. Which oh was, yes, a scythe. Which yeah. was pretty fun. Yeah. She's, yeah. Not, she's not doing it justice. This is a platinum scythe uh, with, with a, like dragon a dragon imprinted on it. on it that floats in yeah. front of her. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's get that music up and let's jump right back into the action. As the caravan careens towards the top of the hill, you can see that the orc war chief Suzma, on her warg, this horrific large wolf, is trying to pull it away and towards the caravan to try and uh, kill the horses and, and maybe stop your escape. Um, we've just had the Tanarooks, uh, which are the, the name that I'm giving the corrupted orcs. Uh, we're going to go to Fen first, I believe. Sounds about right. Um, so, uh, so right in front of you, you've got this large, what I was calling a plague or yeah. pus covered and uh, covered in pustules, uh, rearing up above you, about to attack. And is the caravan behind me and the gap that we've created? No, so you you were in the brush still. You were trying yeah. to hide. So uh, the gap that you've created is about to the right and maybe 60, 70 feet away. The caravan is a good 300 feet away down the hill in the valley. But coming towards coming me. Coming towards me. Um, okay, but I've got a more immediate problem. Um, <laughs> so, uh, too close for my longbow, my crossbow, probably. Uh, you can attack with those, but you get disadvantage. I will pull out my rapier then. Absolutely. Um, and uh, uh, sword. It's a long sword uh, that you use f finessing. Think of a fencing sword. Um, so I pull out my sword and make an attack with it. Absolutely, roll your dice. Am I? I'm still magic. You're still blessed. Still blessed. Mm -hmm. Oh come on! Lovely. I'm gonna go with uh, fifteen. Fifteen does hit. Yeah, Excellent. this thing is not hard to hit. It's not really wearing much armor. <laughs> <laughs> so that does six damage. Fantastic. Um, six. You rolling a d6 there? Uh, D6 plus three. Okay, I think it should be a D8. But uh, sorry, what did I pull sorry. out? My rapier? Oh my yeah, rapier. It was your rapier. Which I did rapier. pull out my rapier. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. That's all right. It's my Get mistake. Get three rolls. Don't be worse. Don't Ooh. be worse. Don't be worse. It's not worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll seven, please. Seven. Oh, yeah. Three of one. <laughs> Lucky. Um, you managed to <laughs> lunge forward and burst one of the boils. Um, oh. Yeah, and your hand gets a little bit of spatter on you, but. Uh, you, you, as we know with Fen, uh, you're used to getting stuff on you, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I was picking coins if out of were, goo. If, if you want that, 
That didn't make if it sound want, better. <laughs> if you want the backstory for that, it can all be found on our YouTube channel mm. uh, presently. <laughs> um, so, um, anything else? Um, all I can do now is move, isn't it? More than anything. Yeah, oh, but I, if you move out of uh, range with it, it's going to get an attack for free. I'm going to use. Uh, you, will you let me use press signation as a as a bonus? Uh, press station. Yeah, sure. Uh, so it's the. What, what would you like to do with that? Uh, I would like to because uh, I know it's not going to hold any weight word. or hollow, uh, and or, or um, but I want to essentially make my rapier instead of looking like a small four foot thing. Yeah. Uh, I want it to look like a twelve foot great sword. <laughs> uh, I, I want like intimidation going on there. Mm. I'm not sure that really falls within the bounds of press of dissertation, but, but I, 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 I don't mind, why not? Um, so you, for a second, uh, you're, and I will, that's how we'll do it, is we'll say that for a second it flashes, so okay. it looks like it's not this uh, very elegant rapier sword, it's actually a massive claymore that you're holding with just one hand, and then for a, it's a split second that it goes back to being a rapier. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> against this plague orc. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, it rolls a three. Yes! <laughs> it is terrified of the magic caster. What are you doing? <laughs> it's going to turn, um, I'm going to say it's going to turn and try and run from you. You can get an attack of opportunity yes. on it. Yes. Um, Big place. Attack roll, so I get my bless, don't I? Yep. Yeah, exactly, because I rolled five, and then I only get plus six, so 11. Oh, so that will miss. As it runs away, you try and hit it again with your rapier, but really what you wanted was the slashing weapon that you'd you'd intimidated with. Uh, (laughs) You missed. So... (laughs) It's run away, that's fine. Suzma Suzma, uh, is pacing down the hill on her... uh, Wog and Kesh, your orc ally, who has uh, entreated you uh, basically as a refugee and has said that she wants to try and help you from Suzma. Um, she uh, begins to pace down the hill after Suzma. She has no chance of catching her on foot against the Wog, but she will pull out a hand axe and chuck it and try and strike her in the side. Oh, she rolls real well. She rolls an 18. I'm going to put that away because I can't read it. Uh, <laughs> she rolls really well. She rolls an 18. So the um, the axe travels through the air and strikes the wag in the side. Uh, but the wag is far too hardy and it just continues padding on with the axe in its side, embedded. Um, that will bring us to Thatchy. Great. Um, so I'm out in the open, which yep. is fine. Um, and the... The the one that are the corrupted orc that I just freed. Yes. What are they? Are they just being a bit rampagey and they, so, causing some carnage? So I uh, just to remind you, the, in their last turn, they picked up the other orc yep. that was holding the chain and flipped it over them. Yep. Um, in a very sort of Hulk Loki moment. Okay, great. Smashing <laughs> it on the floor. Okay, great. Uh, I I'm gonna try again with very very uh, pernickety shots that hopefully work out and I'm going to try and shoot the mount uh, in the uh, the mount of uh, what's the name? Suzma. Suzma. Uh, Suzma's mount. I'm going to try and shoot into its face and into its eyes to kind of try and blind it. Okay, that's definitely going to get an AC bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so we're going to yeah, yeah. say actually what you want is a 19 to hit its eyes. Ooh. But what you want to hit the wag is a 12. Oh, okay, that's fine. I, I, I'll, I'll compromise. You've still got bless, remember? You've yes. still got bless. Oh, yes, I have produced dice ready. <laughs> <laughs> so in the in the previous hour, uh, the celestial uh, Evan uh, called down on the power of the gods to try and help them in their... Uh, situation and bless them all uh so the first one is a 19 but the oh. other one is a uh a 14. So oh they right both so, hit, but so they both one eye. okay do so the no de- depth perception suddenly do, <laughs> <laughs> do, in a combat situation. do the damage uh for the 14 first and then uh for dramatic purposes we'll go to the eye okay perfect so the first one is oh, not great four okay and then the second one come on be nice be nice Ugh, not great. Six. Six. Not so well, no. the the arrow cuts open this wag's eye. And, uh, 
the, the blood vessels all burst in it, turning the eye completely bloodshot and red. And it's going to have a scar over its yeah. eyebrow, but it hasn't completely blinded. <sighs> Uh, Just made it look awesome. Yeah, <laughs> made it look more, yeah. I made it look more terrifying than it already was. Uh, and then with my movement, I'm gonna just moonwalk back into the bush, so I'm not out in the open. <laughs> Roll firstly a performance check, and then a. Stuff. <laughs> 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 I will just clarify that my surname is Moon, so technically all walking I do is moonwalking. Oh. But, uh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, for that bad joke as well, I got a total of four for performance. It's more of just backpedaling. Yeah, that's moonwalk. fine, that's fine. But, uh, and then stealth. <laughs> Come on, be nice. Oh, another four, how? No. Plus seven, so eleven. Ele- oh, 11. Okay, fine. Uh, you do manage to get yourself behind a tree, but you're not particularly is it quite Is it one of those really skinny trees? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah, you can see but, you, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, that will take us to... I'm trying to get this right. Sorry, Evan. Hello. Um, right, well, I'm still, I'm st- I've grabbed onto the chain behind the first of these big creatures that we've freed. And yeah. it's sprinting its way through this, this mess. But they're also surging towards me, aren't they, now? I'm trying to... I'm really yeah, caught up in the mess. they've just been trying to catch you as you've been running past. Sure. It's not so much a uh, and the and the caravan is, is coming up. It is. As well, it'll okay. take maybe three turns at full pelt for it to break through. Fine. Um, I would like to, realising that the situation is getting a bit much, someone holding onto a chain with one hand, uh, and seeing there's still some. Um, I keep forgetting their names. Tanner- Tannerook ahead of us. Yeah, corrupted orcs. Um, corrupted orcs. Still some corrupted orcs for us to get to. Uh, I would like to run run as fast as I can for a moment. And then, with a look upwards, um, cry uh, uh, in the, in the name of Corellan and for the protection of others. And then leap. And as I leap, two wings appear on my back. Oh, and uh, suddenly, I'm bi- I'm basically kind of like you know when you hang glide behind a speedboat. Um, and <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> this thing is pulling me, and I'm like going like that behind it. And of course, I am using radiant soul, which means I have uh, big glowy eyes as well. But the main thing is obviously the effing wings on my back yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm obviously trying to therefore move expertly over these orcs heads and try and get a clearer path towards and if I can get ahead and start doing you, you, will, yeah. you will be able to get ahead with your yeah. flying movement yeah in which case am I able to use the chains on the back of the Tanner to kind of interfere with the orcs in front of it by like flying around it I mean, you you could try and do that, but you do risk tripping up the Tanaruk, the the, mm. the corrupted orc. Okay. So it's up to you. She's quite straight laced, so I think she's not going to do that there necessarily. But she'll she'll get the best possible angle that she can on uh, on getting in a position to assist the next Tanaruk as quickly as possible, and then and also looking down to while still the, holding onto yep, this chain, while still holding onto the chain, yeah. Okay. Um, and um, and yeah, and I don't know. As a can I use a bonus action to do an intimidation check? Yeah, sure, sure, because I have one still. Um, I mean, this is still, like, this is about 18 seconds after you sprung your ambush, so yeah. the, the orcs are still pretty shaken. <laughs> but I'm an angel, and I've got wings. Exactly, that's, yeah. uh, no, that's my point. Yeah, is sure. Yeah. Oh, good, good. I will, yeah, I'll go big, and I'd, I'd like to, um... What? Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to shout very loudly, um, uh, free, free the corrupted ones. We are here for their souls, not yours. And that's a natural 20. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> this voice rings out across the battle and the next orcs along that were going to be a problem look up at you in terror and just drop the chain <laughs> that's three out of four that yes. you've got now free and Boom, rampaging fantastic. around um, yeah. very good turn uh, let's see nope the orcs are in complete disarray. Um, some of their sergeants are shouting at them to try and rally them, trying to reunit them, get them into a position where they can actually be effective. Uh, but no, they're completely ignoring them. <laughs> they're just running around with a two and a seven that I rolled. Uh, <laughs> running around doing uh, pretty much nothing. Except there are a couple of these bat riders which flap up Ooh. and try and begin to swoop down towards... uh, I saw your eyebrows, Tom. (laughs) (laughs) Air to air, eh? (laughs) Swoop down towards the the caravan 
uh, looking rather dangerous. Yeah, air to air. How could I resist that mustache? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tally-ho. Tally-ho. <laughs> Priz, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to use my spiritual weapon again and just kind of slash again like I did last time. Yeah, so mm-hmm. the side, this, but now this is a bonus action, so you get to do this and oh, what you were going to do. Okay. So the idea is the scythe becomes almost autonomous. Now. Okay, yeah, that makes sense now. Um, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Oh, that's not very good. That is an eight. <laughs> okay, so the scythe uh, is in your path. It doesn't manage to hit anything, uh, but it does sort of keep your path clear as the orcs are pretty obviously intimidated by all the holiness that is going on. <laughs> um, um, well, can I take up my actual warlock action? Yeah. And just go for the first orc that's in front of me. Absolutely, mm-hmm. just get stuck in. So you... So that that's is better. a 21. Oh, that yeah. really hits, yeah. So that's... 15 hit points, so... <laughs> 15 hit points. That is a 8. An 8. So yeah, I would say you probably come swinging into battle this gnome uh, about 2 feet tall, swinging a warhammer um, for a 2 foot tall gnome, maybe like mallet sized to us but you bring it round expertly and crack the kneecap of one of the orcs and it twists and hits the floor. Um, And uh, that orc is probably considered out of the battle. Um, Do you coup de gras it or do you leave it it to its its broken leg? She's considering it. (laughs) What's your alignment? Yeah, I think I would. Okay. <laughs> would you like to narrate that for us? Um, so I've just brought it round, knocked it down, and I just take another. I'm assuming I'll just go back and take another whack at it. Yeah, just absolutely. Keep, and you just, just break its jaw. jaw. Yeah, it keeps um, going down and, and down and, and down. Yeah, the thing is. And then just carry on running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dead. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 Right, uh, which brings us to the top, to the Tanarooks. Now, you oh, had that charmed that first Tanarook, but two of them are not charmed whatsoever, the corrupted orcs. Do they not at least know that. that we freed them? Well, nobody's said anything to them yet. <laughs> right, yeah. do, they, do they understand common? They understand common, So yeah, they, they saw me shout, free your, free your corrupted souls. And you did roll the natural yeah. 20, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. I'm assuming the well one that But you haven't... <laughs> Rules yeah. yeah. And obviously the one that he's holding on to. Yeah, that's nice. what I'm saying. That one is charmed. But the other two, um, while they know that you're their allies, yeah. uh, they haven't been given any instructions or they don't know what the plan is. <laughs> so they're just going to stand and slash at the orcs around that's them. That's perfect. You're that's fine. Right. One no, of them uh, well, still well, has... One of them still has their muzzle on and is actually fighting to rip that off and it can't quite Aww. manage it. Um, the, <laughs> the other one... A deadly killing machine, like a tortoise guys. on its back. The other one has broken its muzzle and is currently feasting on an orc. Is Aww. just like tearing... <laughs> is tearing it apart um, in front of it. Um, meanwhile, Suzma is getting closer and closer to the caravan. Next turn, she will be able to attack your horses, uh, just so you're aware. And the two bats are flying over her, flanking her from above. Uh, we'll see what happens, shall we, as we throw yeah. back over to <laughs> Fen, who has expertly in the last round routed that plague orc, and now the melee is in front of you. You can see everything happening. You have a second to take your breath and decide what to do. Excellent. Um, how far away is um, Suzma and her walk? So the bats are about 120 feet away. The walk, they're up. Though. They're up. Yeah, the, that's his problem. <laughs> yeah. The walk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, the wag is just over 200 feet away at this point. And what's now. the range on my longbow? 120, but you can attack at disadvantage for up to 360 feet. Or is it 500 feet? I can't remember. It's it's look, it's you can filth. you can probably cheese it is what I'm saying, but it, <laughs> but the attack will be at disadvantage. Uh, if I so basically I can double my speed with my feline and agility and move 60 foot, yeah. am I in range? Yes, sorted. So Fen puts. So yeah, I I see the, what the problem is now because the plague orc has has run away from me. I can see, like you say, the melee, and I see that right. We're not going to win this battle, but the caravan. This is the immediate problem. I see. Um, sorry, uh, Thatchy, take a couple of shots, um, and. Um, 
surfing, uh, paragliding guy. Um, so I, I assume that he's going to deal with the bats potentially. So I I I. I s- Put on a burst of speed and strike out to get myself within firing range of the walk. Sure, you put your ears to the wind and you f- you you f- do your own bit of flying um, as your feline legs carry you quicker than uh, than the eye can quite track. Uh, cool. You bring pull yourself in range. Yeah, bring myself in range. Pull out my longbow. I'm still blessed. Bless has two more rounds on it, if I remember. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Will, are you aiming for Suzma or oh, the Warg? Oh, sorry, I'm aiming for the Warg, um, and um, I guess I'm, yeah, I'm aiming, yeah, I'm aiming for the Warg. I want to bring it down. Okay, yeah, sure. Roll your damage. Definitely hits. Sweet. Uh, oh, and you can God. four. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but you could. Can have you got a, uh, an arcane shot still? No, I think you've I spent. Do, I get to do two. Hmm. Unless you're going to let me take a short rest in the middle nope. of battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a generous DM, but I'm not that generous. <laughs> yes, yeah, so unfortunately, I, uh, I only rolled a, I rolled a one, so I got four on that. Four damage. Okay. Four damage. Um, so the arrow f- sails through the air. Um, it's not the best shot you've ever taken, but you have just also sprinted to get into a position to take it. And the fact that you hit was quite impressive. Well done. Um, that brings us to Thatchy. Um, how far away can I? Am I still in range of the? Is it the warg? Warg? Yeah. Well, warg, 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 do you know warg, warg. dialect vary? Oh, yeah. Okay. Warg, uh, am I still warg. in range of? Oh, them? I see. In the five e, uh, in the five e monster manual, it's spelled W O R G, but I know it from L O T R W A R G. So. <laughs> Obvious. A, that's a lot of You've le- been saying That's a. some high levels of nerd. That right was re- yeah. sorry. Um, that got real noodly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So I. Am I still in range? How far away are they from me? Um, you're in the similar situation that... Uh, so it'd be like 60 feet away? You're, d- no, they're about 200 feet, feet away. Oh, the can yeah. I still shoot them with my longbow? You can at disadvantage. So basically you'd have to complete, you'd have to do your own bit of maths and aim high and try and bring the arrow down as opposed to into the side. Okay, and instead of... But you get to do that twice this round, don't you? Oh! Yeah. Sorry. You have two attacks. Do I? Nice. Yeah, you should have two attacks because you're a fifth level fighter. Oh, oh sweet. Nice. From for, for the future. That's fine. Like, let's if you fine. want to roll another one, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll what roll. would you like to do? Then? I don't know. I'm As, not sure yet. He, 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 okay, you'd be thinking. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a 17. 17 will definitely hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with my longbow again. Well, that was ex- exactly the same. Four. <laughs> okay. It's not down yet. It's still you pacing along. <laughs> Okay, I have 30 feet of movement, which I know is not very much. So that will get you within 170 feet. Which is that just? Just enough. But I'm going to say, just to add some peril, that you will also get some attacks from some orcs if you do that. How many attacks from how many orcs? Two. I'll, I'll take that. Okay. I've been already rolling really terribly. I can't take this advantage. I've had more ones than I've ever had before. Have they both hit me? Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I, I, I rolled a 24 and a 26. Oh. Oh. Um, just hits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you duck and dive to try and get a clean shot off at the orc, uh, the, the warg, you take 12 points of slashing damage okay. from swords uh, that just take their opportunity attacks. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, yeah, so I want to. I'm gonna try my best to sort of push down the pain of that. I'm gonna bring up my longbow and I'm gonna phew, and try and shoot um, the war. Ga- I'm assuming I can't see the face of the wall anymore. No, I'm behind it. No, right? no, okay. It's, uh, um, it's and retreating. As it's running, back. I'm just gonna try and shoot it in its like hind legs, so maybe it will slow it down. Maybe it will like something like that. Just trying to get a nerve. Do you um, want which to is very small, but that's fine. It's okay. Do you want to mechanically uh, call that shot, or is that just flavour? Uh, yeah, mechanically call that. And I'm also okay. going to use, uh, as my bonus action, I'm going to use Slayer's Prey um, and add a d6 damage to it. Oh, no, I can't. I can't do that anyway. That's fine. Uh, ignore that part of it, because that's not within 60 feet of me. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to... The Orc Ranger brings up their bow. And releases the arrows. Ooh. Oh, hang on, I've got blessed still. I've still oh. got blessed. Don't forget to be blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> oh, it's not great. 
uh, the first one, which I think will hit anyway, which is 19 plus 2, so 21. That hits the exact target mm -hmm. you wanted. Well, that one does not hit the exact target I wanted, but that is uh, 11 plus 6, 17. So I think they both hit. The, so roll the one that hits. The, so it flies hit. through the air and just sticks in the walk's bum. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that is five points of damage. Right. I believe in you. And then the one that's after that shot that didn't really hit where I wanted it to, the next shot, I know exactly where I'm going for, and I shoot it, and that's eight points of damage. So the arrow flies through the air, and you knew exactly where this was going. As a ranger, you've hunted before, and you've taken down four-legged creatures that have been running away from you. And the arrow dips through the air and cuts the tendon of the back leg, and the wolf welts, and like the leg, the leg is completely destroyed, and it skids, um, rotating as it skids with the momentum that it already had. Uh, throwing Suzma to the ground yes. and uh, it, it is dead. The warg is dead. Yes! Um, and then I would like to take out my short swords because I imagine I will be in melee combat very soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where, where on earth were we? Uh, it was uh, Thatcher's turn. Uh, yeah. It was Thatcher's turn. So that leads us to the orcs. Now Suzma gets up uh, and she screams at the top of her lungs. Ah! Um, frustrated, uh, she lifts her hand and you realise she's about to cast a spell. Oh. It couldn't have possibly me that shot you because I am holding short swords. <laughs> <laughs> no, she oh, faces right. the caravan. Oh no! And a small red bead flies from her hand. Oh no! Not the beads! The nerds in the audience know what's going to happen. <laughs> Hashtag nerd. Huh? Uh, there's no sorcerer. Oh, no. oh, go away. The NPCs are not part of this. <laughs> we found um, the level of nerd. <laughs> um, there's a burst of fire as the red bead lands just in front of the horses and the rider uh, dealing... 29 damage to... Uh, we'll see if the horses pass their saving throws. If they don't, I think they've died. Yeah. That's a four and a six. So they definitely pass, yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> so there's an explosion of a fireball. Um, indeed. There's an explosion of a fireball and the two horses skitter to the end. The caravan almost breaks, but uh, manages to, uh, uh, the, the driver manages just to just to flip the momentum. They see what's happening at the last second. Um, and the caravan is stopped and is a sitting duck at the moment. Um, the only, perhaps the only way of getting this up and moving again would be if anybody could heal or revive those horses. Hi, Cleric. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, take me to dinner. Is the can I ask a question? Is the fireball an instantaneous and has it disappeared, or is it that one that yeah. they can move about and smash into things? No, 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 no. It's not that higher level spell. No, it's just a <laughs> an explosion of fire and it is gone. And as the smoke clears, you see the horses uh, have been felled just as the warg was and cooked, ready for dinner. And cooked, ready for dinner. So um, that leaves us to Evan. This new complication, does it change your plan? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, this, this, um, uh, what's her name? Sorry. Um, Susma. Susma. Susma seems to be extremely bad news. Um, I would like to, um, I would like to, to full on, like, javelin missile her using myself as the javelin missile. So, wow, like, with okay, my, so with you... my spear, like, directly, but I'm gonna oh, throw, oh, throw nice. the chain, turn directly towards it, and just... You go into a dive yeah. and just fall on Suzma, um, roll your attacks. With my, and it will be, it'll be you my get two attacks, spear. and it's still a sacred weapon, don't forget. Yeah, it is, oh my goodness, yes. Right, first one. Uh, it's a natural... Oh my god, that yeah. guy's is... <laughs> That's three. Can confirm. <laughs> um, can confirm. Um, I will... Well, why don't you yeah, roll the other attack? The other attack. Maybe. Although this is actually plus nine, so sixteen. You're still blessed, though, as well. I'm not blessed. I've yeah, only no, 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 three blessed. things. Yeah. 
I'm uh, selfless that way. 16 was her AC. Oh. As you fall on her, you pick apart her chainmail with your spear like only a, 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 fallen, a falling paladin can do. <laughs> and as I was going full on myself, I'd like to say I was holding it two-handed. Yeah. Also, it's a, it's a two... It's a do you want to add Divine eight. Smite as well? Like, Well, would I? Yeah. Yes, I would. Because I, get, Shall I, I just, get to roll... I tell you what, I'll tell some jokes while you do the maths. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many, I actually, I've never played a paladin before, so Divine Smite says that an extra D8 of Radiant. Uh, and I can do, and it's an extra 2d8 of radiant per spell slot that I built. Um, and doubled, I believe, because, if, of the because of the crit. Right, so it's an extra 4d8, <laughs> so it's 68. Why haven't you been doing that, that all the radiant. time? 68 plus your oh, modifier. Yeah. yeah, and that will be plus 7 for one of them, so plus 3 on the other. Do you want some d8? Yes, please. Well, right, hang on. Well. Here you go. They've not been very nice to me, they might be nicer number. to you. The first one, right, so I've done 15 so far. So just, uh, yeah. just to narrate that as you do the maths, uh, the... Uh, Eight half angel puts her uh, wings to her side and dives from the sky, spear forward, putting everything she can into it, and skewers the orc chief, um, bringing the spear right through the bottom uh, of the chainmail and up into the rest of the body. Um, and as she does that, the spear itself glows with almost sunlight, scalding. Uh, the wound as it travels through. Was that enough? You don't. 45 damage appears to have been done. Oh. 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 Yeah. The real MVP there. 45 yeah. points of damage. Uh, <laughs> just to be clear for everyone, so everyone has context, how much hit points do you have? How, how much health do you have? I have, at, m- at the moment, I have 26. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have completely destroyed you. Obliterated you it, yeah. 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 Good job. The spear um, was the right way round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Hit with the pointy end, you see. Was that just the first attack? That was just the first. That was just the first attack. The second attack will be way more underwhelming, but it's still a, a 1d8 um, plus uh, three. So let's see what this does. Um, is it five for damage? Is it not also sacred weapon? Uh, it is still. A, you're quite right. So it's plus three on top of that. So that's for eight. It does eight damage this time. So 53 damage in one turn. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Well done, dice. Well done. No, <laughs> no this specific die. Thank you. <laughs> Without being that guy, though, one turn too late, the horses are already dead. The caravan's yep. on fire. Yeah, well, you're optimistic over that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> we'll see what that does to the orcs, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing good. Yep. Oh, no, that look um, single figures all round uh, <laughs> the orcs have begun to rout as this seeming um, message from the gods <laughs> has been sent against their war chief and has completely like it looks like the war chief is dead she's not but uh, as, wow. far, as far as all the orcs are concerned like that would have killed five of them with <laughs> one shot like they begin to rout it looks like Killing this leader, you may actually have won the battle, but there are still two bats to deal with as they have swooped down to try and attack the caravan. Um, As you watch, as you watch, the sorcerers that are dealing with the caravan have finally uh, come round uh, and are firing off uh, bolts of fire at the uh, bats as they come down. Uh, Is there anything that Priz can do to try and help the situation along. I'm not close. I don't think I'm, how close am I to... to You're not close, close enough, enough, but if you can think of a creative way of getting close enough, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm willing to rule of cool it. Uh, <laughs> rule of cool. Um, how far away can this, her ethereal scythe be from her? Does she have to get close enough or can the scythe get close the, enough? The, the, scythe, uh, the scythe has to be within 20 feet of her. Okay, cool. I believe 20 yes. or 20 no, feet. Yeah, 20, 20 feet. feet. Yeah, or it, or it dissipates. It can move I can send it 20 feet and it does a yeah. five. Um, but I'll tell you what there are around you. And oh, yeah. listen, I yeah. hate to invoke stereotypes, but there is uh, a, a rather enraged or uh, infected orc that you have sweetmeats on you. And yeah, just, just, do, with, <laughs> just do with that information what you will. Um... I remember that I have sweet meats, I see it's <laughs> <laughs> I take out my sweet meats and friend. <laughs> friend. What are you trying to get it to do? 
I want it to come near me so I can jump on its back and kind of control it. I don't know. You want to mount it. I want to mount it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Roll, no, that's fine. Roll, roll a persuasion check. Does she have advantage because of sweet meat? Yeah, she yeah, does. No, I, I did, I did yeah, establish did that, that you do have advantage yeah. because of sweet meat. Right, well, that's, that's pretty 15. good. Yeah, that's a sick. <laughs> yeah, it hunches down with the 15 yes. to eat the sweet meats out of your hand, at which point you can hop onto its back. You're gonna make me wrong. No? Okay. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> it's your ally now. You've it's given it ally. you've given it a dog treat. Like oh. um, Scooby Snack. Scooby Snack. There we go. <laughs> can I Scooby <laughs> Snack? Can I pass? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I cast commands to get it to run? You absolutely can do that. Um, I mean, it saves against your DC, but <laughs> it is also your ally, and I feel like that this is just your way of communicating what you want yeah, to I do. Yeah, I didn't want it to like. And it starts to pound mm. down the hill, I presume, towards the caravan. Brilliant, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, it will be there within one turn, and in fact, it's its turn next as it takes its full movement uh, to to get down there. At this point as well, we have uh, who remembers Jasulu from yesterday? I do. Um, <laughs> so Pam, um, one of the other player characters, met one of the orcs and rolled incredibly well to try and persuade her to come on side. And watching the absolute devastation of Suzma, Jazulu, from her own warg, begins to shout, Ox, this is not our fight! Retreat! (laughs) Um, And uh, is trying to marshal the orcs away from Leeglin. yeah, it rolls pretty well against the eight and the nine I rolled earlier. <laughs> um, and the orcs are beginning to fall back. Um, this brings us to Fen. Uh, so the caravan is still crippled. Is there anything you can do? I'm still in range. Yes, you are. And do I, and do I st- think Suzma's dead? Roll a perception check. It was a pretty big hit. Thirteen. Yeah, you see Suzma is alive. You see that Suzma oh, is writhing on the end of Evan's spear. And how, how uh, nice. so, but I'm still around about 120 feet away on. I'm, I'm within range of yeah. my longbow, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. within range. <laughs> uh, so, um, oh, I... Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Part two. Did I miss something? <laughs> no, come on, move on. Yeah, move there was, on. I said a thing, and it spears, was a sexual innuendo. And... <laughs> In your end. Yeah. Um, I would. I, I draw my. I don't move because then next time I can use my uh, feline agility again. Um, I uh, draw my longbow and uh, try and hit Suzma again. Okay, cool. Um, I'm aiming for a face. Sure. Roll your attacks. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, she I'm is blessed. obscured by the angel on top of her. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I aim for a face. Perfect. I will take. And uh, this is the last round that bless happens. By Twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Never mind about the obscure uh, obfuscation. Yeah. It's, it's uh, you, your arrow sails true right past uh, Evan, and Evan, you don't even flinch as yeah. you feel it brush your hair. I'll also do nine damage, please. Nine damage. Uh, you have a second attack. I'll do exactly the same and again. And take your money. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take 30 on my second attack. That's our first 30, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's our first 30 of the game. Big nice. today. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll attack. Thank you very much. I love, uh, I love I'll, I'll, I'll attack before. Four. Okay, fine. Yeah, two arrows stab into Suzma past Face. Evan. Uh, to the, the face. face. Indeed, uh, making new fresh oh. cuts. <laughs> I just can I can I just say I love being in a room that will applaud uh, a dice roll. That was that was so <laughs> wonderful. Um, right. Uh, can I just uh, shout out blessed because I would not have made thirty without the blessed. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. blessed. Feeling really blessed up here. Tachi. Yes. So, uh, how far away are the bats from me? Are they within the range? The bats are in the air. Are they still in the air? They, they are looking damaged Great. from the sorcerers on the caravan. Yep. Uh, and they're also looking rather shaken. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I would like to. So, but all the orcs are around me. Are they just retreating at the moment? Or are pretty they just, much like, running away. Yeah, pretty much. Thanks right, okay. to Jasulu, uh, they are starting to move away uh, yep. back towards the woods. So, Thatchy, having got our short swords out, goes up, puts them back, <laughs> gets a long bow back out. <laughs> I'd like to aim um, half the first of two arrows to go through the wing of one of the bats. Yeah. My, my whole thing is just knocking things over and hoping it falls. That's, that's the it. whole plan. Well, so we'll that's see how much first. you do. You're still blessed on this one round? Yep. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Hashtag blessed. Ooh, I need the hashtag blessed. Um, <laughs> that is 12 plus 6. Yep. That 18. Hits. So that hits. That hits. Um, does that hit through the wing or is it just. Yeah. Oh, cool. Bigger targets. That's what I should go for. Um, <laughs> 18 and then, is what you needed. Great. And then the next one is a natural 20! Woo! <laughs> Um, so in total, that'll be three d eight plus your modifier six, twice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, five minutes here. I know. Thank you. So, oh, that's only two. I can't count. That's right. You're winning. Right. Uh, that's eight plus three, eleven plus. So sixteen plus six, twenty-two points of damage. Would you like to narrate to us how this one dies? Yeah, so what my hope is is the first arrow pew, hits into it, the second arrow pew, pierces through the uh, meaty wing, effectively. I don't know how else to describe it. The, the bat's bingo wing, and, um, <laughs> and it just goes a membrane. membrane, thank you. And it goes, and it just does a spiral. Hopefully crashing into some orcs, maybe unless they're running away, just for a bit of dramatic effect. If I could explode it, I would do that as well. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then Michael Bay comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. <laughs> I could direct this. <laughs> okay, uh, Evan. Hi. On uh, below. Oh no, Susma's going to get an attack I'm on you. I'm sure she is. Yeah, yeah that's uh, <laughs> twenty and a twenty-four. Twenty and a twenty-four. So that's going to be big hits. Yeah, big hits, big hits, big hits. Big hits. That's gonna be 24 damage as oh. she comes back around and she brings her sword up, pushes you up with her incredible strength and returns you the favor and stabs nice. her sword up through your, uh, your armor. <laughs> really could have killed you there, couldn't it? Oh. <laughs> really could. <laughs> Brutal. Paladin's man. Okay, um, it's now your turn though. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, as, <laughs> <laughs> as you die on top of that. Um, can can you be quick? Talk, uh, always. Uh, right, I'm gonna. Attack. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna like, with, the, with the with the with the sword still like basically that whole kind of like right. You want to go then? Um, I just I just just go again. Um, yeah, that's that yeah. Hit. That hits. So it was uh, what uh, twenty four or something. Uh, yeah, it was twenty exactly. Yeah, it was twenty nine at the moment. No, no, sorry, twenty. Yeah, it was higher than twenty four. Uh, and that is a a two plus three plus four, so two plus uh, it's nine damage. Um, if that like as that, oh, I've got I've got another attack, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a critical fail. Oh no. Oh. So, there we go. So um, some you lose. Some. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh oh. Natural 20. <laughs> this time. Um, so what I'm going to, if you mind, if you don't mind, do, do what, what I'm going to say is yeah. you stab in yeah. again uh, and Suzma grins at you and as she falls, yeah. she brings you down with her and she's trying to bring you into a grapple oh, on the floor. Snap. But you manage yeah. to do, uh, you let go of your spear yeah. and roll forward. Oh. Um, over her, yeah. bringing yourself to a stand right beside her. And then as you look back over your shoulder, the light in Suzma's eyes has gone out. Oh. And on the floor, she lies blo broken and mm. bloody, that being her last attempt to try and bring you yeah. down with her. And you look down and you notice you yourself have taken quite a beating. Mm. Um, now... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Priz, you have been run over by your Tanaruk steed to the horses. Yes. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, I jump off my back. Have I got to them quick enough to do? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So and I'm going to cast Revify. Revify. Yeah. Revify. As you fall down between the two horses, 
Uh, you put a hand on each, and would you like to narrate to us how your river for fire works? Um, so, uh, as my god is Bahamut, um, some kind of kind of like dragon-like fire comes Ooh. emits from my hands and just slowly pours into the horses' bodies. And they very startledly, <laughs> what's the, they're very startled, they whinny, and they've just been dead, to be fair to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And get back up. <laughs> and start. Like like <laughs> <laughs> and this is the scene. The gnome having just uh, revived the horses, the caravan can begin to move. The orcs having been routed and uh, brought round by Jasulu, we, we will see what their uh, politics uh, are, are in the future. Um, Evan has completed her mission and the Tanaruks are on side as Kesh runs around each of them and trying to calm them, giving them the sweetmeats. But you are not recalled to the heavens. It seems your work I is left. Left. left uh, there is still work for you down here. Um, and as the caravan... Uh, free now from the routed orcs uh, starts to head back to Holmwood. That is where we're going to have to leave this hour of adventure. Big plays. That was... I thoroughly enjoyed that hour. Thank you so much. You've been a wicked audience. Um, thank you for coming. If you did enjoy the show, uh, please do spread the word about it face to face and on your social medias. Uh, on Twitter, we are at Adventurous215. Naomi has been live tweeting the entire thing uh, as we've been going along. Um, and everywhere else on uh, media, on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, the other big one that is on my, oh Twitch, uh, we are Adventurous Wanted. We've been live streaming uh, on Twitch this entire time, so you can catch up on Twitter and on Twitch. But don't just catch up. Uh, we have 70, no, 64 hours left. Is that right? I don't know if I've done. So this was 60, yeah, 64. This was 36. So yeah, 64, 64 hours left. So uh, if you do want to see where it goes, please do buy a ticket to come back. Uh, be like Paul and Amy and buy our uh, limited number of player tickets to come and join us up here on stage and take part in the adventure. Um, and if you really like what we do, we have a Patreon as well as a donate button on our website. So uh, uh, those of you who'd like to support us, we try and bring the uh, hobby to a wider and more inclusive audience. We do this all the time down in London uh, with free play events and a monthly uh, live show like this. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think that's uh, everything. I just want to hand over quickly to our players to allow them to plug something that they're involved in or something that they'd like to recommend at the Fringe. We'll start with yourself, Tom. Hello, um, I'm just visiting the Fringe this year, uh, but if you like D&D, &D, you might also like Alternate History. It's a pretty complicated Venn diagram of interest. <laughs> but if you do, uh, I run a publishing house called Sea Lion Press. You can find us at sealionpress.co.uk. We publish about 70 books, e-books and paperbacks of uh, asking questions like what if Hitler had won the war, or what if Harold Wilson had been a spy, and things like that, <laughs> and uh, everything in between. So um, yes, do, do give us a look. But yeah, Sea Lion Press, thank you. Fine. Um, I am a Edinburgh native. I live here all through the year, so I'm always going to shout out the friend shows that are run by local talent that you know give up their beautiful city every year for all of you guys to enjoy. Um, it's carnage. Um, so I'm going to shout out at the Rose Theatre at 8:30 p.m. I'm pretty sure it's every day. It's my friend Gareth Much. He's a stand-up comedian with Gareth Much wants much more or something like that. Um, so that is 8:30 every day at the Rose Theatre. Uh, can I just quickly ask, is it just Tom? Yeah. Are you uh, performing this month? No, uh, I'm not, yeah, not performing here. No, okay, cool. Right. Well, this one actually comes from my sister who's watching yeah. on Twitch, and she says, was that Jess Tom? Yeah. She's amazing. <laughs> if you get a chance to see her comedy, go for it. Oh, fantastic. So, there you go. Second. I'm not in anything The Fringe, but I am in a production of West Side Story in Northampton um, uh, in the October half term. So if you're down that way, then come and watch. Um, and just before I leave you, I have had a request. Uh, apparently, we have some burgeoning DMs on the Twitch. So hello to you. Uh, I've had uh, a, a request for a, uh, a one quick tip. So I would say uh, there's plenty on the internet. Go and look up Matt Colville's YouTube channel. Go and look up uh, all of that internet. But I would say just very quickly, everything serves the story. The dice are not king. The story is. And uh, as long as you're having fun, you can do what you want. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Thank you.